You actually, you've sparred with Connor, right? You, you did some I've, sparring I've, with him. I've sparred with Connor off season, coming from a holiday, out of shape. Right. Basically playing and just having fun and being me. And lit him up. Not even, not even focused, not even in a camp, out of shape. And I had an opportunity to work with him. Right. And and people, it's crazy that I read all these posts where people go, maybe there's going to have his hands full landing on Connor because of Connor's skill and footwork and movement. I mean, I'm no, I'm no Mayweather. Right, and out of camp, out of shape, I landed on, on, on Conor McGregor. My trainer Julian was ringside, he was in my, in my corner, and we landed at Will. It is crazy to think that people can actually compare a fighter that's 0 and 0 in a boxing ring compared right. to, a, to, a, to a legend that's 49 and 0. That if you go on his resume, has beaten the best of the best in the world. But let's say that he actually is able to land on Floyd. Does he have enough knockout power to end that fight? No. You don't think so? No, not, not with 10 ounce gloves. I mean, not he, with one punch. He fought right. Madonna that landed. He fought, he got he got rocked by, by Sugar Shane Mowgli, who can. Zab Judah. I've, I've, I've had the, the opportunity of working with Shane that can punch. He's been hit by guys that can punch. Right. And he didn't go down. He knows how to, he's so good. He knows how to recover. Fights. Right. Yeah. Never and, 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 and he fought on no. some, Never been down. Marcus Madonna. Hasn't lost right. many rounds. Yeah. No. You know what? No. Oh, <laughs> oh,